the mine shack as it looks today, no longer being used for play. Flags have been put up indicating this area belongs to a gang. The tuba gang, it would seem. The wind howls in this open area. This is an unpleasant place. What's this? Why, it appears our old friend Lil Jeffy is still alive. What a beautiful- No wait, Lil Jeffy, don't go into the mine shack! The cannibal. He seems to know these flags mean trouble. Fortunately for Lil Jeffy, the cannibal turns away and leaves. But unfortunately for Lil Jeffy, he has just entered the territory of the Tuba Gang. This may not be so tragic after all. Lil Jeffy takes cover, thinking the cannibal is still on its way. The coast is clear of any obvious danger. Something above must be keeping an eye on Lil Jeffy. A moment of rest. These don't come often in this horrible world. Just don't get too comfortable. Psst! Hey! Uh-oh. Lil Jeffy is not alone. Is it safe to pass? Are they gone? The gang! Are they gone? <sighs> We've been stuck here for days. We didn't know that this is their territory. We were just trying to find a place to hide. Lil Jeffy isn't the only one hiding out in the mine shack. Three other survivors, friendlier than most, seem to have taken Lil Jeffy's arrival as a sign that the coast is clear. Now's our only chance! Come on! The three survivors cease their chance to escape their hiding place. But they've stopped. Not good. Who the hell are you? That sound startled Lil Jeffy. Being the fool that he is, he has tripped backwards into the minecart filled with... Uh... Questionable substance. The force of Lil Jeffy's trip caused the minecart to slide down the track. Best of luck to you, Jeffy. Wherever your journey takes you. Tuba gang. Home sweet home. Who do you think you are? You're in our territory! I'm sorry! We need to be here! What?! The gang leader notices the missing minecart. Whatever that mysterious substance was, the gang leader is not happy to see it gone. Do you know who I am? Do you know how dead I can make you right now? Where's the stuff? I didn't touch anything. The other guy was. Bitch slapped. You want to try that again? Maybe this time, f***ing open your mouth. You better start talking, before I hurt one of your little friends here. No, please, it wasn't us. I don't think this penguin could be in a worse situation. I take that back. He could be stuffed in an oven. Yet maybe even that would be a better fate. Less torment. Less of the pain he's about to endure. If we don't get that stuff back, it's all out war. So let's make these ladies tell us what they've done with it. You know what to do. A horrible thing to witness. Please no, it wasn't us. Though as I've said before, it's a common one. Of course, these penguins are innocent of the crime the Tuba Gang has accused them of, but someone like the leader of the Tuba Gang has too much at stake to hear their story. Look at him. That's what happens to penguins who cross us. Tell us what the stuff is, or you're next. The shutdown of Club Penguin created many monsters. Just when you thought you saw the worst one, another one shows you just how bad a penguin can be. With no order, no law, and no moderation, no penguin in this world gets banned. The only way out is game over.